hello everyone! Welcome to a new video of The Mental Traveler. I hope you're all doing great. I'm Caro and today I'll be reviewing a movie that I love which is That Hamilton Woman. This is a black and white film and it came out in 1941. It was directed by Alexander Korda and it starts the astonishingly beautiful Vivian Lee, who is my second favorite actress in the world and her real-life husband Laurence Olivier, one of the most famous and talented actors that has ever graced the face of the earth. Vivian Lee plays Emma Hamilton, while Laurence Olivier plays Horatio Nelson. Both Emma and Nelson were real-life people, so this movie is based on true events. It's set at the end of the 18th century and in the early years of the 1800s, when Great Britain was at war with Napoleon. It's about two hours long and this film has a very interesting history. It was made on the order of Winston Churchill in the midst of World War II to sort of raise the of the British people around the world in their fight against Hitler. So there are a lot of parallels between Hitler and Napoleon being these tyrants who want to conquer the whole world and Great Britain wants to stop them. So this is a sort of propaganda movie that was aiming to raise compassion in the United States to the sake of the Allies because in 1941 the States had not yet joined the war and supposedly this was Winston Churchill's favorite film. The reason why I like it so much is because I love history, romance, Vivian Lee and Laurie Olivier movies that were made in the 30s and the 40s that Hamilton Woman has all of these elements so how could I fail to like it? I adore it and I want to recommend it to you all not only because of the reasons that I'll be mentioning in this video but also because in my experience Emma Hamilton's life isn't that well known and I think that that should be remedied because she had a very interesting life while I promote people to watch the film because it's brilliant by the way this will be a movie review with mild spoilers and without further ado let's begin if I get any of the historical facts mixed up, I am sorry, I may love history, but I'm not that familiar with military tactics and battles. In any case, we all know that Great Britain defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo. Well, there were two British men that were responsible for all of England's victories over Napoleon through the years, the Duke of Wellington and Horatio Nelson, who lost for his troubles his eye and his hand, but he was rewarded by being turned into a duke and a vice count, I think. Nelson was a dashing figure, regarded by a nation to be a role model of a hero. That is, of course, until Nelson, who was a married man, met Emma Hamilton and fell head over heels for her. Emma Hamilton, or that Hamilton woman, is a historical figure that I found really interesting. The movie doesn't cover every aspect of her life, but what we see on the screen with Vivian Lee's performance is the following. Emma was a young and beautiful poor girl who was a mistress to a lot of powerful men in order to survive and sort of climb the social ladder. And at the start of the movie, she arrives in Naples because the uncle of her most recent lover has invited her to stay at his mansion and this uncle is an elderly man who happens to be the British ambassador in Naples. Once she is at his house, Emma learns from Sir William Hamilton, the ambassador, that his nephew has sold Emma to him and even though he isn't an unkind man, Emma is horrified at being treated like cattle. But due to her cheery personality, she sees the opportunity of becoming the mistress of the ambassador of England in Naples, so she decides to make the best of her situation and then things turn out quite well for her because she ends up marrying Sir William. She even becomes one of the most powerful women in Naples because she befriends the queen, Maria Carolina, who happens to be the younger sister of the famous Marie Antoinette. So this is a picture of who Emma Hamilton is when Horatio Nelson comes into her life. And Nelson spends the film chasing Napoleon all over Europe and the Mediterranean. But whenever he has time to breathe, he meets Emma because they hit it off from the start and they quickly fall in love, despite the fact that they're both married and the whole world will disapprove of this affair. And I won't tell you what happens to the lovebirds once they declare their love for each other. I'll just inform you that they are in for quite a ride. I give that Hamilton Woman a 5 out of 5 star reviews because as I said earlier this movie has a lot of elements that I like when watching a film and also because it talks about two people that are not as mentioned as they should be. Sure, a lot of people know that Nelson was one of the men that helped defeat Napoleon but I don't think that at least among people I know the fact that he had this really great love affair with a married woman is that well known of a fact because Emma Hamilton is someone who has sort of been forgotten by history and I don't know why because she really had a 
very interesting life that's worth being turned into a movie or a TV series. And also, as a big romantic, I really like this couple, their story, and the way the actress perform their relationship. Emma is a delightful character in the film, and Nelson is a complete gentleman with her. There are two wonderful people who have to endure a lot of turmoil because they fall in love. And like I mentioned, I adore Vivian Lee, and I think that the love that she felt in real life for her husband, Lawrence Oliver, really transmits in the film and their scenes together. And it's sort of funny to imagine Winston Churchill deciding that he wanted Laurie Olivier and Vivian Lee play Emma Hamilton and Lord Nelson in his propaganda movie because it's sort of like today Obama decided he wanted Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt to start in a movie about Abraham Lincoln or George Washington. Sure, this movie does whitewash the life of Emma Hamilton a lot. And last but not least, I also enjoy the way films back in the golden age of Hollywood portrayed love, even if it was this sort of adulterous storyline. The way that the protagonist's love is shown in the movie is really innocent. In a way, it's even this sort of magic potent force because it was meant to inspire millions of British people around the world and unite them in the war against Hitler. So I think that it's nice that The Hamilton Woman is a film of historical value that gave hope to a lot of people at one point. This is the end for the movie review. Thank you kindly for watching it. I really appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed it. And in the description box below, you can find links to the movie's IMDb page to the film's trailer and to the complete film because it's here on YouTube. If you've never seen it before and watch it one day, please let me know. But if you've already seen it, tell me as well. I want to discuss with you if you think this film really portrays British patriotism in an inspiring way and whether Vivian Lee and Lawrence Olivier managed to convey in their performances the fact that in real life they were a couple. And I want to know what you think about Emma Hamilton and Lord Nelson. Do you like Emma? And what do you think of Nelson? Was this hero of a nation right in deciding to almost throw throw everything away for this married woman or anything else you can think of. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Caro the Mental Traveler. I'll be seeing you soon. Cheerio!